Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to <coughs> how to write SQL statements and um, how uh, SQL can be used by the business analyst, right? So before before uh, even we start learning about SQL, we need to understand actually what is SQL and what is like different type of databases we have. So uh, I'm using the W3 schools here. So it's a website where you can like, it's easy for beginners. It's very easy to learn all the statements here. Okay. So SQL is a, like a language and it can be used in like different databases. So the, the, the different databases are MySQL, SQL Server, MS Access, and Oracle. Oracle, uh, Sybase, Infomix, Postgres, and there are so many databases there, okay? These are the different type of databases and the language that we use is SQL, okay? SQL means stu structured query language. Okay, now let's get into the intro section. So here they have given us like uh, what is SQL and um, when, what is it, when was it like became a standard and also in 1986 and, and also in 1987. And so it's been here for a very long time. So what uh, what can SQL do using that language? What can we do? Okay, we can retrieve data from the database. We can insert records in the database. We can delete records or we can also create new databases too. Okay, so it is used for a lot of functionalities. But for a business analyst, right, we won't be like uh, creating databases and all that. Okay, so we, we will, our functionality will be like very limited with SQL. Yeah, but you need to know that SQL can do a lot of other things and uh, there are uh, certifications also for SQL. So if you do that, you will know like advanced uh, certifications are there. If you are interested, you can do that too. Okay, so um, here they are also given that uh, <clears throat> what are the different type of like databases right so don't worry about all this for now just understand that there are mysql server ibm db2 oracle mysql microsoft access these are the different database names okay so in the interview they may be asking you okay you i understand that you are using um uh, sql but what's the database that you used okay they may ask that so if they ask that, you have to say that, uh, you can say any of you, you use like MS SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL. So don't say all the databases. So you have to say just one one or two databases, that's all. Don't tell like you have experience in all the databases. They're going to ask you more questions. Okay, now let's understand what's the syntax. Okay, so for any SQL, if you're going to write SQL statements, what's the syntax? Okay, generally like how do you write? Okay, so the basic syntax is uh, if you want to select something mm -hmm. like, for example, in database, you have like a table here. This has customer ID, customer name and uh, their contact name an address, city, postal code and country. Okay, this is in the database, you have this information. Okay, now you have to like query the database and then you have to get this information uh, Okay, so now that's that's what we are going to do. So how can we do that? Okay. The first thing is we can use the select statement. So select star means I'm going to tell you what is star. Okay, let me take it. Okay, so when we put star, okay, remember if we, when we put star, it means all. Okay, when we put select, select star from when we put customer stay uh, customer okay that's the table name right so when we put customer it means you are selecting all the data when we put star means all the data from the table name customers table so you're not selecting any particular Sele star means all understand Okay, so we are, now we understand that select means you need to, um, it will give you all the data, right? Now, let's see, this is a table, it's a customer's table, 
Now it has all the details, customer ID, customer name, contact name, address, city, postal code and country. Now let's run this query and see what, what we, how we get the results. Okay. So let's go to let's run it here. They've given an example. Let's run it here. Okay. So now I want all the details. If I want all the details, what should I do? What's the symbol I have to put star, right? So when we put select star from customers table, if you see, this is the database. It has a lot of table names, customer table, categories table, employees table, order details, orders, products, shippers, and suppliers. It has so many table names and we want all the details from just the customers table, right? So I'm going to run this query. If I run this query, you can see that just from customers table, I'm getting all the details. Okay. Now let's say that I want all the details from employees table. Now what should I do? I will just put, I want all the details from employees. You're going to put the table name here. Okay. I'm going to run here. It will show you all the information. Okay. Employee ID, last name, first name, date of birth, photo notes. Okay. Everything from this employee table right okay let's say that i want all the details from orders table now what do you put select star from orders right orders table run if i run it will show you from this table what are there all the information will be there okay now now you understand what is a star for star means all okay now next one is if i want only like a particular information okay now what do i what do i do i have to put like like i just want um customer name and address then what should we do okay let me tell you okay now let's write about we are going to select from just two uh, two columns okay select select what's the column name customer name comma address okay just we need two details okay address from what's the customer uh, table name table name is customers table right so from customers table very easy and then you need to write the query that's all okay so let's use this there and then let's find out how it runs okay let i'm going back if you see here column name column name is customer's name and then what's this, another column name address from what's the table name table name is customer's table okay let me run the query now okay I want customer name and then address, right? So, address from customer table. Okay, I'm going to run it. You run here, you can see that customer name and address, right? So, I'm able to pull that. Okay, now I want just city. I want the customers. Um, I just want contact name and then I want just city. Okay, only I want those two details. Then how will I write it? Okay, let's write it here. So I want contact name. Okay, so you will put it here, contact name. And then city. From customers. If you run it, if you see here, you will be able to see just that two information. Only that will come. Understood? This is a very, very pretty, I mean, pretty easy statement. So what's the difference between a star and a, when we go column wise? When we go column wise, only that particular column will be coming. But when we put star, all the information will be popping up. That's the difference. So if they ask you, if you want all the information from a particular table, then what is the sign you have to use? You have to use star. But if I want only specific information, then you put that column name from table name. That's the difference. Okay, very easy now what you can do is you can go to this um uh i mean um, this website w3 schools and you can also try by yourself 
okay and it's pretty you can practice it online okay now next is select distinct what is the meaning of distinct distinct means usually in a table there could be some duplicate values right for example if you see here there's customer name is there there could be a uh, customer name can be same for many people or mostly the city can be the same if you see here if it says that mexico mexico two mexicos are there and then countries is there so that could be duplicate values and sometimes you want to have only like that very that unique value right that uh, distinct distinct means unique okay different values then how we can like pull only those values okay for that you use the word distinct okay let me tell you the difference between select and select distinct so let's go with difference between they will ask you what's the difference between select and select distinct select means it will pull all the values right and then if you put select distinct select distinct means it is unique values understand the difference if you put select it comes all the values will come right and then if you put uh, select distinct then unique values will come understood okay now let's me let me go and uh, show you in reality how it will how it needs it will pop up okay so when you put select distinct column one column two from table name okay and without distinct so when you put select country from all the customers you don't put distinct what it will show it will show all the data all the duplicate values also it will be coming okay so we are selecting country country is a column from customers table okay now let's run the query you see for all the 91 records all the even like if there is two mexico and then germany and then uh, there are like a two frances and then um, yeah all that is getting repeated right so that is without a distinct statement if we use all the values will come now when we use distinct okay now what will happen let's see so when we use distinct select distinct country from customers like i'm going to use the word distinct now and if you run now if you see that only that country is only once it will pop up okay everything will be unique values one germany one mexico one uk one sweden one france one canada one argentina so if you see here everything will be unique understood so what's the difference between in the interview they ask what's the difference between select and select distinct you need to say select distinct is for unique values or distinct or different values or select means all the values see the notes here select means all select distinct means unique understand unique okay i hope you got it uh, so for today just learn the two statements and then you practice it tomorrow we will see other so we can complete this in like mostly within like six to seven days and then uh, you should be good to answer thank you for watching